This is dying to come out of me. I have to share. All right. I'm going to kick this off with a quote from Napoleon Hill, my dream man. <laughs> the great Napoleon Hill said that successful people make decisions quickly and change their minds slowly. People who are not successful make decisions slowly and change their minds quickly. And if you are a recovering people pleaser or you resonate at all with being somebody that has a hard time making quick decisions or knowing what you want or getting clear or you, you decide you're going to do a diet per se and then two days later you're going to do something else and then you're going to be an entrepreneur and then the next day no you're not and all this stuff. Holy crap, dude. So much of this is rooted in, in people pleasing patterns. Mm -hmm. I used to be very indecisive. And then once I did make the decision, then I was questioning myself, doubting myself. And this goes along with people pleasing. Because if you have a history of people pleasing, you don't make decisions for yourself, right? You're waiting for somebody else to tell you that you're making the right decision. And this is something that anyone can overcome. I know it because I have. Yep. Say it. Say what you mean and mean what you say. And that's exactly right. So I'm going to use health coaching as an example. If you're going to if you're going to sign up for health coaching or decide to get fit, decide and that's it. There's no way out. When I started my business, I made that decision and there was no way out. There's no I'm going to change my mind, never mind. If you've got that back burner plan on your way out, you're never going to get success in any area of your life. When I finally got fit, it was because I knew it. I knew it. Come hell or high water, it doesn't matter how many times I stumble. It doesn't matter how many things I was wrong about. I got to feel, I don't care. I know where I'm going and I'm going there. Come hell or high water. And you know what's so crazy is I was getting ready to do this live, but I had a call with the head of partnerships for Tony Robbins Life Force, his health coaching. And I was like, shit, I got to do this call real quick first. Guess what the guy told me? Okay, so this guy's working with Tony Robbins. He said, you know what I love about working with Tony is Tony is an action taker. When Tony decides he's going to do something, he does it. Right. So I'm read. I'm actually reading Life Force, a very synchron synchronistic thing, uh, Tony Robbins book. And, and 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 I got randomly connected with these guys at a grocery store. It was a crazy thing. But um, what I you know, I'm going to use as an example, Tony Robbins isn't going to start Life Force, this health thing. And then like three days later or two months later, be like, ah, you know, never mind. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do the Life Force thing. No, <laughs> he's going to decide to do it quickly. And he's not going to change his mind about it. He's going to build it. And I'm sharing that because people pleasing, this is what I see. I see this all the time in health. Can you resonate? It's like, oh, I'm going to get so fit. And then two weeks later, never mind. That shit's got to die. Make the decision quickly. Change your mind slowly. Right? You're not going to be perfect. You're going to have all sorts of crazy shit to figure out on that path. When I decided to come out with an app, it got freaking brutal for a minute. I'm not going to lie. That app, if you guys are my app subscribers, that it has been whew, a learning curve. Working with the app stores, filming content in a way I never have before. Do, I've had to redo so much of the content. It's been, it's been a bitch. I'm not going to lie. It's been a bitch of a project. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I made the decision. It's, it's going. And it's, it's going. We got a lot of subscribers in there. Thank you if you subscribe to my app. I hope you're enjoying it. And it's, it's that commitment. The commitment. Make the decision and don't change your mind. Right? Now, obviously, sometimes we're going to make decisions that are like, okay, that was stupid. Like, I'm going to run a marathon tomorrow. Well, <laughs> if you will be accountable to continuing to stick with the decisions you made, you won't make decisions like that anymore because you know that you're going to do what you say. So it's going to make you hesitate before you make these like arbitrary decisions that are like, dude, no, you're going to think it through. You're going to be like, yep, that makes sense. Boom, done. The decision has been made. And Tony Robbins talks about this, actually. He calls it resolve. He's like, there's commitment and then there's resolve. Resolve is like, it's already done. This is happening. Come hell or high water. So I wanted to add the people pleaser spin to it. Because that was me, big time, big time. I couldn't make a single freaking decision in my life without getting somebody else's approval for a long period of my life. I own that. That led me down some really shitty roads, super disconnected from myself. And I had to build the skill of being able to know what I want, to accept my own feelings and get comfortable with that and make decisions right here without asking anybody's permission, anybody's approval and getting clear on what I want, where I'm going and it's done. So if you've been a people pleaser, you got to practice little things. What do you want to eat after this call? 
today whenever you eat. What do I want? What's in my own best self-interest? And I'm going to do it. And that's actually what's happening. <laughs> what do you want in your career? Are you waiting for somebody else to tell you what's okay for you to do with your life? Stop. Like anytime we're seeking outside approval for the decisions we're making, we disempower ourselves like crazy. So we got to work on being decisive. And as Napoleon Hill says, successful people make decisions quickly and change their minds slowly. And I have been around a lot of high performing people. I have been very um, fortunate to be exposed to people who are performing at extremely high levels in life. And this is how they show up. They make their decisions quickly and they change their mind slowly. It's like, I made that decision. This is what's happening and let's go. <laughs> Come hell or high water, this is where we're going. And I will pass the last aspect I will pass along to you guys is health. If you're not believing in yourself that you're going to get to where you want to go, you will not get there. I promise. If there is 1% in you that is, has signed up for health coaching or you're starting to pick up some sort of healthy routine and there's this little piece of, in you that doesn't think you're actually going to do it, you're not going to. Because I'm telling you, when it gets uncomfortable, that 1% will win. So get out of the back burner mentality of maybe I won't do this. Maybe I'll do this instead. That shit sucks. That shit is hell. That shit is low performance mania. If you want to be a low, get, get poor results in your life, anywhere make a decision but with the this little back burner thought of maybe it's not going to happen maybe i'm not going to mm, we got to get rid of that no the only reason you see me fit is because i knew i would look at myself in the mirror at the gym overweight and i'm like that's not that's not me <laughs> i know where i'm going everybody else will see and i've done that with so many things in my life when my book came out people were like wow tara congratulations i'm like i knew 2 years ago this was coming i knew it and I got offered a book deal. I didn't even seek that out, but I knew I had been journaling it every day. <laughs> yep. And so, and it's just, it's amazing what happens when you are like clear, when you have clarity. It's so goddamn stress relieving too. I hate being in the energy of wishy-washy. Oh my God. I can't do it anymore. I did that for so long in my life. It's just, it's maddening. Make the decision and stick with it and come hell or high water. That's where I'm going, right? As long as it's aligned. And the more you do that, the more you'll stop making decisions that aren't aligned. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I just want to drop that with you guys. Make quick decisions. Be decisive. Get clarity on where you're going. So if in any area of your life, there's all this foggy shit, it takes like a mental capacity <laughs> to be like, okay, this is unclear to me and I'm going to get clarity. What is going on here? I need clarity. Clarity is one of the most stress relieving things in the goddamn world. Yeah, it's hard to be around people who are wishy washy too. I know, dude. It's exhausting. It's exhausting for you and it's exhausting for everybody around you. So get clarity. If there's anywhere you're like, I don't really know what I want, you got to figure it out. And this is rampant, rampant. When I, when I start working with clients and I ask them what they want, they almost never know what they want. I want to get healthier. What does that mean? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's go. Let's figure it out. I mean, if they're working with me, we'll figure it out together. I'm going to ask them a bunch of questions to help them get there. But if, you're, if your goals are wishy-washy, I want to be rich. What the hell does that mean? What specifically do you want? And why do you want to be rich? And what are you going to do with that? And getting clear on all of that will help you get there. I love this guy on Instagram. His name is John Hillstead, J-O-N. He's like a manifestation coach. If you don't follow him, I highly recommend. But he has this video. I've been sending it to clients lately. He has this video. It's all funny. But he was like, he was like, it's a, it's a voiceover of this guy going like, it's like, you know, uh, you know, it's like, uh, and it's like your guides, your, your, you know, spirit guides listen on the other line. And they're like, I can't tell what you want, dude. And, oh, I find these in myself sometimes. I'm like, no wonder that hasn't happened. I don't even know what I freaking want exactly. Okay. And as soon as I get clear on what I want, it just happens. It just magically starts attracting you. It, 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 you attract it into your life, but be, it's because you, you start choosing the paths that are more aligned with what you want. Mm-hmm. I, I fully, I'll be vulnerable. I fully admit I was doing this in dating for a while. I didn't know what I wanted at all. <laughs> I was like, oh, you're nice. As soon as I got clarity 
oh my God, it became so much easier. Okay. And really cool things happen when you get clear. So if it's in your, your business or your financial life or your romantic life or your health or your person, you know, anything, just your life path, what you want to do with these magical years that you have left on this amazing place called earth, get clear about what you want and it will come. It will come. It will come. But the wishy washy, you can't, it's just, you're, you're just like this all the time. Well, it ever comes my way. Mm -mm. We got to get out of that. And the worst part of it is people pleasers are assholes. Mm hmm. I will, I will say it because it takes one to know one. You know why people pleasers are assholes? Because they don't know what they want. And, but subconsciously they kind of do it's in there somewhere. And then they start blaming and, and being all victimy with everybody in their life. <laughs> yeah. And manipulating people to get them to like them and feeling all like people owe them and all this bullshit. It's got to go. We've got to own what we got to own our life what we want and get decisive. And once that decision is made, go come hell or high water. This is what's happening. And it's invigorating. <laughs> if you start a project and then when it starts to get hard, you're like, eh, maybe I won't do this, including a health journey. It's so demoralizing. It is like depressing as hell. <laughs> but when you're like, no, okay, I'm hitting a stumbling block here. So what, where do I need to get my head right? Okay, let me get back in the game here. Where am I going? Right? What do you do to get clear? I have ideas, but struggle how to solidify a lot. I do a lot of things. Um, but first of all, I meditate a lot uh, every day. Okay, so meditation, breathing, I do breath work in the middle of my meditation. What that looks like, by the way, for me, is just I, I have a timer for 10 minutes on my iPhone. Okay, and in the middle of that somewhere, I just look and see it might be like 720, you know, left. And I'll just like that. It's got to be loud for a minute. And then I hold the exhale as long as I can. And then I breathe in and hold the inhale. So first of all, getting centered. And then I do a gratitude practice and a personal development program. I do my own. I've done Tony Childs. I've done, you know, so some sort of personal development program. And mine is very centered on this. The four peaks that I talk about, if you guys follow my higher coaching account, that's what it is. You got to check in on your personal, like, what do you want for yourself and your physical? Where are you going? Your professional life, where are you going? Your relationships, what's going on that you're not addressing? We got to tap, touch. I call them touch points, right? It's like, I got to get clear here on like what is actually happening in my life and like where I'm going with this. Because if you don't know that, action becomes almost impossible. <laughs> well, how did you, how do you get started learning how to meditate? So when people are first learning, I, what's up, Isaac? I miss you too, bro. Dude, let's go hit a workout. Hit me up. Um, okay, so I like Headspace app for learning meditation. Just do it for like a week. It's free. Okay, this is the one that Tim Ferriss put out forever ago. Headspace, it teaches you like, okay, I'm going to release my thoughts. I'm not going to stress myself out. Like, don't think, don't think. You know, it's the basics. Then after that, I find a lot of people do well with guided meditations at first. Okay, and plus it's like really cool thoughts that they're taking you through. It's like very high vibe stuff. I like the app called Insight Timer for that. I recommend 10 minutes. That's what we've shown in research. People will actually stick to don't try to meditate for an hour. You're not going to do it. I'm not going to meditate for an hour. Okay. So 10 minutes. And then once you're kind of more comfortable with it, try doing silent meditation and just opening yourself up and just, it's, it's, there's no pressure. Don't pressure yourself. Okay. So just noticing it's just awareness. It's like noticing how the air feels on my skin, noticing how my body feels, noticing the sounds around me. That's all. Oh, noticing that I just thought about, <laughs> I'm, I'm being me. I just thought about the Krebs cycle for like six minutes. Oh, noted. Wow. That's really on my mind right now. Okay. Let it go. Mm, wow. I was really thinking about like talking to that one client about that thing that must need to be addressed. Okay. Let it go. Right. That's it. Slow dive app is really great. I have that one too. Um, so using apps, Headspace, Insight Timer, and then just silent. Um, Deepak Chopra and Oprah, they got some badass meditation series you can buy. If you want to get super deep, uh, Joe Dispenza's got some long ass meditations you can do at night, but just go on a journey with it. Explore. Um, so having meditation with some breath work, um, there is an app called, oh, what's 
the breathwork one I like. Shit, I can't remember the name of it right now. I'll put it in my stories. Um, but doing something like that and then having a gratitude practice and some sort of specific personal development program that's like taking you somewhere, like invest in that, okay? I have one in my coaching. Uh, there's lots of them out there. Something specific though, right? Where you're touching into the different parts of your life. Holy shit, dude. You can't not get clarity because you're actually focused on it. <laughs> and then just in general, when I'm feeling foggy on something that drives me effing insane now, I'm like, okay, whoa, I will talk to myself out loud in the car. That's a strategy I do. I'm like, what's going, okay, where are you at with this whole, you know, maybe a work project? What are you going to, what's, what's going on? What are you stressed out about? I'm stressed out about this part of it. Okay. So what are you going to do about that? And I will literally answer out loud. I'm like, <sighs> Okay, I need to ask the people in there what they want, blah, 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 right? And then I create a task list out of that. But it's it's just proactive thinking. So no, Lixer, that's it. Thank you, Marie. Lixer is the breath workout that I like. Really simple. Um, it's like a four-minute flow you can do. It's awesome. Um, it's I think it's free. I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, yeah, just proactively noticing when you're foggy on something and not tolerating that bullshit. Like getting fed up with the wishy-washy, like no, and just having a talk with yourself, a coaching session with yourself. What's going on? What's up? What's wrong? What's where? Where are you at with this? Oh, I'm feeling stressed about this because I I don't know what to do about this aspect. Okay, so what what are some ideas? What can you do? Who can you talk to? Um, see how you have to use your brain, and that's why people don't want to do it. They'd rather be permanently stressed in wishy-washy land, then take this moment to actively exercise some proactive thinking. And that shit sucks. So when you notice you're getting wishy-washy, get, use your own coaching, internal coaching system to coach yourself through it and be like, okay, what's going on? And where, what do you think you can do about it? And then make decisive action and go. And you're never going to like have it perfectly planned out until you start acting, start acting, right? Like I tell people who want to be health coaches all the time, I'm like, you've got to start. You're always going to suck until you start doing it. You got to start doing it. <laughs> start with what you got and then figure out where the problems are and go from there. When you ask questions, your brain automatically starts looking for answers. It's amazing. Yes. Little book of affirmations is all about that. It really is a very short read. Yeah, dude. Right. It's like that one's more like, how did I become so successful at this? And then your brain starts looking for answers and then you're like, hmm, so it's a cool book. Anyway, I got to go. I got a coaching call with all my higher coaching clients. Thank you for joining me. Much love, guys. Be decisive. Make your decisions quickly. Change your mind slowly. Let's go. All right. Bye.